Welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to do some examples on permutations and combinations that are a little bit out of the ordinary, not the straightforward kind, so we have to pay special attention to these. And in order to get a better understanding, we'll do some very simplistic examples. When I say simplistic, I mean with much smaller numbers or quantities, so you can see that the equations that we're going to use for the large quantities can then be explained, because otherwise you look at it, and in, a lot of times in probability, intuition will just the intuition just doesn't match what the actual equations would indicate the correct answer would be. So here we have a case where we have 10 marbles, we have three blue ones, five red ones, two white ones, and so we're going to find the number of permutations, the number of ways in which we can rearrange these marbles. We're going to do it in two ways. First of all, if all the marbles can be distinguished, so matter of fact, you can replace the marbles by numbers or something like that, and how many different ways can you then rearrange them? And then we're going to do it again, assuming that the same color, the marbles of the same color cannot be distinguished. And there's a special technique to use for that. So the first technique on part A, that's fairly straightforward. The number of permutations when you have 10 marbles is simply equal to 10 factorial. Because if you can rearrange them any which way, it's equal to that, and that's a really big number. Uh, let's see here, that's equal to uh, 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 factorial. And 6 factorial, if I remember right, that's 720. So it would be equal to 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 720. And well, you know, with a calculator we can figure out what this is. It's a big number, all right? So I like to go as far as I can without using a calculator. I can multiply the 10 times this. So this would be equal to 7,200 times 9 times 8 times 7. And at this point, I'll just go ahead and quit because it's getting pretty complicated uh, without a calculator. But you get the idea. It's a lot of different ways in which you can rearrange 10 marbles. But now the restriction says that the same color marbles cannot be distinguished. What that means is, for example, we can, we can move a red one over, a uh, blue one over here and a red one over here, and that's a new permutation. However, if I change two red ones, if you cannot distinguish them, then that's the same permutation, so you, they're not different. Okay, how do we figure that out? Well, the best way to, to figure that out is to say that the answer to this is some number n. We don't know what the number n is, that's what we're looking for. And it turns out that the number of permutations, when you have 10 of them, is equal to n, that is, if you cannot distinguish them, times the product of the permutations of having three marbles times the permutations of having five marbles times the permutation of having two marbles. In other words, if you take each one of them independently, uh, in this case the blue ones, and maybe I should color code them, so this is for the blue marbles, and uh, this here was for the white marbles, and white marbles is a black circle with a white in between, and then here are the, uh, the red marbles. So. If you look for how many ways in which you can rearrange the blue marbles as a unit, the red marbles as a unit, and the white marbles as a unit like that, if you subtract, um, no, if you multiply this times the answer that we're looking for, we get the permutation for 10 marbles where the order um, does matter, for example, where we, can dis where we can distinguish the different colors. Which means that n, therefore, so for part b, n, the, no the answer we're looking for is the answer we got in a, so P when there's 10 of them divided by P when there's three of them, the permutations when there's five of them, and the permutations when there's oop, two of them, not three, two. There's only two white ones. Okay, there we go. And so the answer to that would then be, this is equal to 10 factorial divided by uh, three factorial times five factorial times two factorial. All right, and that we can simplify somewhat because 10 factorial divided by five factorial, you get Read the first five numbers, so this is equal to 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 divided by, you still have 3 factorial and you still have 2 factorial. All right, now 3 factorial is 6, so the 6 cancels out with this, and 2 factorial is 2, we can divide it into 8 and we get 4. So this becomes 4, this becomes 1 and 1 and 1, like that. So now we finally, we can go ahead and multiply that out. So this is equal to uh, 90 times 4, which is 360, times 7. And 7 times 300 is 2100. And uh, 7 times 60 is 420. So this becomes 2520. So that's the number of ways which can rearrange those 10 marbles if you cannot distinguish the color. And of course, if you can distinguish the color, the number is far greater than that. 
So that's well into over a million. I can see that. It's um, uh, somewhere around 5 million or so. Okay, I'll just go ahead and say this is approximately equal to, uh, I'd say, about 4 million in that neighborhood. And of course, much smaller if, um, if you cannot distinguish the different colors. So the technique is simply take the number of permutations when you can distinguish the color and divide it by the number of permutations for each color separately multiplied together, and that gives you the correct answer. And that's how we do that. In the next video, I'm going to show you that with a small number to see that that actually works. So stay tuned if you wonder why this is correct.